why is it that a company can take a charge off of your card or your bank account or whatever instantly as soon as they decide that you've made the transaction that money is out of your account and into theirs but if they decide to refund that money or they owe you money or you're receiving a payment from a company it can take up to four to five business days for that money to make it back into your account it's 2017 about to be 2018 we're two years away from 2020 and we can't instantly put money back into someone's account but we can instantly take it out we're supposed to have flying fucking cars by now but these motherfuckers can't put money that they owe you back into your account instantly i don't understand this i wish to god there was somebody that would fucking explain these types of questions Google now with all of its infinite knowledge about the basic facts of the world. We still don't have a Google about the bullshit in this world. Things like that. Why does it take five fucking business days to put my money into my account, but you can take it out instantly? It's fucking absurd. What the fuck, YouTube? Get your shit together. I don't know what the fuck happened when Google purchased you guys, but Every fucking time you change something, you break something else. Stop fucking with shit. There's an old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. You keep breaking shit by trying to fix shit that wasn't broken in the first fucking place. Quit listening to your superiors telling you more, 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 more sales, more productivity, more this, more that, and tell those stupid motherfuckers that they are literally burning the bridge underneath their fucking feet. You keep pissing off these YouTubers, the little assholes like me that only make $20, $30 a month. Yeah, I said it. Fuck you. You keep fucking pissing people like me off, you're going to lose us. And here's the thing. We outnumber the guys that are making a million or so a month. And when you get down to only one or two guys that are making that kind of money because all the $20, $30, $40, $100 dollar guys leave in mass to go to whatever fuck any fucking thing any fucking video sharing website comes out that can even hold a candle to you guys and pay it doesn't matter if their api is as good as yours or better or not if they're paying as much as you or better you guys are fucked because when we leave in mass there's going to be so many fucking people that disappear from youtube that money's going to disappear too and your little fucking pootie pies and your fucking jack septic dicks and all these other little cunts that are making a big amount of money that's all you're gonna have and you're gonna realize that one two three big stars doesn't add up to one two three big stars and millions and millions and millions of people uploading content daily driving and creating the forces that are making those millions you may think it's a drop in the bucket but drops add up to a bucket full and you're gonna lose a lot of money and you're gonna be fucked so good luck with that. Keep fucking demonetizing people's videos automatically by default. Keep making them have to fucking message you 50 times just to get a response. Keep fucking breaking shit in the API that then fucks up our ability to upload and make you money. You're getting more money off of these videos than we are. Keep fucking biting the hand that feeds and we're gonna go elsewhere. And on a final note, religion fucking driving me crazy lately why the fuck do you need to believe in some imaginary fucking cunt in the sky that grants wishes but only to you when you're trying to pass an exam it, it's never when someone's fucking being raped or starving to death god doesn't give a fuck about those guys it's only the people that beg him for his fucking omnipotent power i mean secondly if god's way is already chosen everything's already been decided by god there's technically no free will and he knows everything that's going to happen already and he's put you in that situation because there's a lesson that you're supposed to learn now either you're going to pray to him and ask to change that situation against god's will and he's going to say no so wait praying was a fucking waste of time or He's going to say yes and change his way and therefore his way is just swayable based on how many people vote or pray a certain way for things to be an outcome. Like it's not democracy. There's He doesn't have a fucking call center up there taking American Idol texts and votes. You don't, you don't get to win by majority vote. The most people like 
more people are praying that Israel wins than Palestine. That's just not how it's working. Um, we're just giving them billions of dollars a day in bullets and bombs and shit like that. Basically praying is fucking futile. You're talking to yourself. It's a form of therapy. You're assuring yourself that your decisions are right by bouncing them against logic and reason and experience from your whole life. That's why when kids especially try and tell me about religion or God would do this or God says that, you barely learned how to wipe your ass a few years ago. What you know amounts to a fucking hill of beans. I could give a shit less what you think is real out there. I feel like in a perfect society, we would just deal with the facts and leave this God or Buddha or Allah shit till we figure it out. Basically, until we have facts that can say, hey, this is real or this is not real or whatever, we're just speculating, so fuck that. You're wasting your time. Pay attention to the things we can fix and control and and better ourselves with now and let's leave the speculation and the imagination and the fucking fairy tales and all that bullshit to the fucking children's stories. That's literally all this is. Religion is a fucking a fairy tale that you tell your children at night so they don't fucking scream and cry all night long being afraid of dying. As a child, it feels like when you're falling asleep, you're dying. If you've ever been on a good hallucinogenic trip, you, you convince yourself that you're dying. Kids are the same way. They're too fucking stupid to know what's really going on, and they're falling asleep, and they think they're dying. They wake up screaming. Parents are fucking sick of it. They barely get any sleep as is. They want these little motherfuckers to take a nap, so they tell them this fucking story about how when you die, there's this dickhead that's gonna take care of you and keep you safe and all this other bullshit. And of course, to keep the little motherfuckers in line, you tell them that if they're not nice, then they'll send them to hell and they'll burn in a lake of fire forever. But God loves you. He loves you. He'll do anything for you, but if you fucking cross him, he's gonna burn you in a lake of fire forever. This is literally a fucking nightlight to light the path when your children are at their most feared and you'd rather them not piss in the bed. That's all it is. There's no point in this shit. If apocalypse happens and I have to start a militia, no religious fucks allowed, and no goddamn four-day wait to get your money. That is all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.